Hi guys, welcome back. It's one second later since the last one I just reviewed. So this would be episode 59. And uh, same story goes with this one as I did on the last one. So you can watch that. It's really short if you want to know what happened to my why my reviews are so bad right now. So this movie is um, called 645. Like the time. So 645 in numbers. Um, it's from 2021, uh, says that it's rated R, I don't know if they do that, I, I still don't really know. I should actually look into that and find out if they do do ratings still, because that's pretty new to have a rating. So the movie is 1 hour and 36 minutes, I recommend watching it on Tubi, of course. Okay, so anyway, it's a psychological thriller, and, um, it's known for being gripping, suspenseful, and chilling we got with a Google rating of fifty percent, which was uh really low. I don't know why it was that low to be honest. I thought it should have been higher um other than the fact that the movie was disturbing. I made sure I kept this movie because, like I said, I had to throw away all the movies that I watched, and I made sure I kept this one because um. You know, I just realized, did I ever give a rating on my last movie? I don't know. If I didn't... If I didn't give a rating for Are You Scared, it was three stars. I really can't remember, but anyway. So, back to this movie. 6.45. Okay, so, Bobby takes girlfriend Jules on a weekend vacation... That turns into a nightmare that's relived over and over again, and only he can stop it. It kind of reminds me of, like, a Groundhog's Day type of movie, um, only this one's extremely disturbing. And, um, it's weird because I watched this movie right before I went on my honeymoon, so it was, like, perfect timing for a crazy movie like this. Um, so now I'm lost at what, what I said, but, uh... I'll repeat in case I didn't say some of these. Episode 59 to be 1 hour 36 minutes, just in case. So, Joel's Rabel was played by Augie Duke. Bobby was played by Michael Reed. I'm going to go into the uh, warnings. Okay, so for dog, cat, bug, no, drug, no. Excessive gore, yes. Violence and death, yes. Clowns, no. Vomit, no. Blood, yes. Gross scenes, yes. Hospital and mental. I don't remember this part, but it was, yes, implied. Uh, suicide, no. Shaky cam, no. Abortion, no. Re no. Sexual content, yes. Nudity, yes. And I remember those all being, like, very extreme um, for the warnings. So, this is not at all for children in any way possible. Uh, I gave it a rating of four stars, which is really high for me. But as disturbing it as it was, and as much as I really felt the... A lot of the warnings that I did give yeses to were so unnecessary. They were so overdone. Um, however, the concept of the movie I just really liked. And, or maybe not liked, but found interesting. Very, very interesting. And especially the ending. So you have to watch it all the way through. Because otherwise it's a complete waste. If you don't watch it to the end, don't bother watching it. Put it that way. Because it... It's then just a stupid, like, slasher-type movie, unless you see it all the way through. Uh, I definitely worth. I definitely think it's worth watching, though, and I think I watched it twice because I, there was a few things that I wanted to go back and check on to see exactly how it went. So, give this movie a shot. It's worth it, and um, catch you on the next one.